Um, well, Kyle, obviously, uh, edging very close. Um, yeah. But uh, how are you feeling heading into the season now? Yeah, can't wait. It's been a long pre-season, so... Um, yeah, longer than normal. Uh, so yeah, just can't wait to get stuck into games and that weekly routine of um, playing games and crashing into bodies. So yeah, it's getting close. So much changed in the club over the summer. Um, what's it feel like inside right now? Um, it's exciting. It's exciting, you know, new new coach, new captain, everything like that. So, um, you know, we, we didn't make finals. We weren't um, that successful last year. So I'm ex exciting that we uh, get another chance and we start from scratch again. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get off to a really good start. And, um, yeah, it starts with um, beating North Melbourne next week. And personally, mate, it's a huge opportunity for you. No Ben Rutten, I guess you're the man that they need then to, to take his role at fullback. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, well, um, I, I'm excited about that as well. Um, hopefully, you know, I've still got a bit of work to do to, um, you know, cement my spot in the team and um, there's plenty, plenty of work to be done. But, yeah, I'm supported by a great bunch of blokes down there with um, Daniel Talia, Pods, Kyle Cheney coming over from Hawthorne. He's brought um, great leadership and um, he's, he's very vocal down there. So that's been really good. And, and then we've got some... Um, you know, speedy guys like Matty Ench and that to, to come back in that hit him play on the weekend. So uh, it'll be really good. Do you feel you're ready to take over that mantle as the number one fullback? Um, yeah, like the opportunity is there. So um, hopefully, yeah, I, I think I'm uh, in pretty good shape um, to, to do yeah do a good job. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's a different story. You've got to go out there and actually actually do it. So, um, yeah, we'll see, see if I can, um, yeah, take it with both hands next week. What parts of your game have you worked on or improved over summer to fill that role? Uh, I've definitely worked on my, my, my fitness. I, I, had a, um, I had a few struggles with cramp and that sort of thing um, over my first few years getting through games. So um, definitely worked on my fitness and, and my strength. So um, competing with those bigger body uh, forwards. So hopefully, um, yeah, I can go out there and compete uh, with, with those guys. Yeah, yeah, I put on a couple of kilos over the um, over the off season. Uh, hopefully, it's muscle and not not fat. But um, no, nah, we've been training pretty hard, so I think it's um, yeah, muscle and uh, yeah, it's been good. You only played ten games, but you worked alongside Trump for a long time. Yeah. How much you learned from him that you can use in your own game to play that position this year? Oh, a, a whole lot. Like um, Truck, Truck was a great mentor. Um, the thing that Truck was really good at out on the field was he was a coach as well, not just a player. So um, that, just that uh, voice and instruction out on the field, I think um, not only me, but uh, everyone in the back six is going to have to step up and um, come together and, you know, sort of fill that void that Truck, Truck sort of left, that leadership. Um, spot and uh, yeah, hopefully that's something that I've worked on and um, can fill the void a bit along with the other guys down there. You had a bit of exposure to some of the monsters through the preseason. Have you found it against those those big bodies? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, you know, you you don't get to. Um, sort of over pre-season you play on the same sort of blokes like Tex and JJ and that but you know the different sort of forwards that you, you get to play on um, and I've, I've played on a few different types, Jared Waite and um, the first week he's more of a lead up sort of player and then uh, Mitch Clark and that he was a big, bigger body and um, yeah I really like the opportunity to play on those sort of types but then I got played on a bit of West off on the weekend so he was just running around and um, so yeah you know I like playing on different types and hopefully I can match it with them. You didn't do the the warm up with the main group. Do we read anything into that? Nah, nah. Just monitoring. It's been a big preseason, and you know, four and a half months or whatever it's been. So, just yeah, rest up to and get the body in, in good nick for round one. So you're pretty confident you'll be in the 22 come round one. Oh, that's that's not up to me. That's up to Welshy and the coaching staff. Um, if I get picked, then it, hopefully I can take it with both hands and um, you know go to cement my opportunity. But you know, I, I just got to wait for that decision to be made. Clark got hold of you a touch in, in, at the Cattery. Did you learn much from that game? Yeah, I, d I did. Um, you know, like, uh, it's a team defence and uh, I got caught out a few times um, playing up in front of him, so um, I've got to be quicker to get back onto him um, earlier um, when, when the Cats are moving the ball quick. So uh, I, I came away from that game, learned a bit about... Um, 
uh, you know, my positioning and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, you know, it's a constant um, teaching tool to when you play on different blokes that uh, you come away from a game and you need to work on things. So I came away and uh, needed to do a bit of work on my um, positioning out in front of, of blokes. So, um, yeah, did that at training and uh, hopefully I'll, I'll, on the weekend I, I think I did pretty well um, with my defensive side of the game. You spoke about uh, Truck's leadership. What other parts of the game playing fullback did he teach you? Um, just being ruthless, I think, um, and uh, yeah, just doesn't matter whether you you walk off the ground um, with with a heap of touches or not. It's just um, you know you got to play your role in the team, and um, you know team, team first attitude that Welsh has brought. Uh, I think that's what he likes as well, and I think that's something that Trucks installed in us is um, just yeah play your role, and you know if your man walks off with with. Um, no touch and you walk off no touches and then that's that's your job done but it's also a bit of a team defence as well. Kyle, with the four months or so of pre-season just about all finished, yep. um, from a player's point of view, what would ideally look different about Adelaide the way you play once you start this week compared to that what's going on the last year or two? Um, oh, I think um, we're, we're really fit, um, we're ready to go, we're going to be um, hard at the ball, hard at the man, um, so I think yeah. We're, we're going to have a pretty strong team defence um, that we're going to um, you know, be really strong on and if you don't buy into that then you, you'll find yourself probably out of the team so um, yeah I think um, our defence is going to be really good I know Welsh is really hard on um, defence um, so yeah I think that's probably the biggest um, change we'll see. And you're talking defensive across the whole ground obviously not just people. Yeah across the whole ground not just the back six but you know the forwards will get up the ground and um, the mid midfielders will run defensively and, and that sort of thing so yeah all over the ground. Chuck's obviously in the opposition camp now but do you have any contact with him still? Um, I haven't really spoke to him that much. You know, he's he's a coach at a different club, but uh, and I've got um, like great mentors in Jerry Milburn and uh, Daniel Tarley here, James Podziadley. So um, now that he's gone, um, but yeah, I, when I see him, I'm sure I'll catch up with him. And you obviously, had the injury setback last year, no um, carryover problems with that at all. No, nah, nothing at all. You know, um, the spleen healed really, really well. It took three months and I was ready to go day one of pre-season. Um, yeah, and ribs, you know, they, they sort of heal over three, three months as well. So, um, yeah, I was, I was all fine and, um, yeah, haven't had any um, interruptions over, over the pre-season, so it's been really good. And our new coach, you said New Era, how important to start the season? What oh, it's always important, you know, every... All 18 clubs that want to win their first game get off to a good start, and um, yeah, so it's it's extremely important. It can set up your whole season. Um, so yeah, we're just looking looking forward to it, and hopefully we can uh, get the W on the on the weekend. And next the weekend you've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday for your boys. What's the plan? Yeah, oh, so it's just um, rest up. You know, we've, like I said, we've had four and a half months of. Um, really hard pre-season, we've been training really hard right up until this point, so uh, I think, yeah, just to freshen up the boys, have a few days off, you know, get home, see your family and friends and um, just have a real refresh um, mentally and physically and come back and get ready to crack into it. You going back to Victoria? Yeah, going back to see the family in, uh, in Melbourne.